Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share what's new to my wardrobe for 2022. I have been picking up some random things here and there that I wanted to share. Things for winter, some great basics, even some workout gear, and they haven't necessarily made it into a try-on haul. So I just wanted to share some new things that I picked up for the year. If you're interested in shopping any of the pieces, they are always linked in the description box down below. And if you're new here, I just wanted to say a quick hello. My name's Amanda and I make lots of stuff styling videos here every single week. I have a very girly but also casual everyday style. I do try to style things multiple ways for work and the weekend just so you can maximize them in your wardrobe. I wear lots of neutrals but I also love very like pretty pastels and blush. Blush is definitely a neutral over here. So if you're interested in that type of content, I would love for you to consider subscribing and let's get into the video. All right, so I'm just gonna grab, I have like a big pile here. We're just gonna start grabbing it. I guess I could also mention my outfit. Um, so this sweater is from Petal and Pup. I will have a new video with them going up next Thursday. Just wanted to give you a heads up. There will actually be a giveaway in that video and I do have an updated coupon code. It's 22% off and this is the best discount that they have ever given me. Normally it's 15% and it ends at the end of January. So I just wanted to go ahead and mention that before the video goes up. It is strawberry chic if you wanna take advantage. Um, I, I cannot wait for that haul. I love their pieces. Um, so this sweater is from them and I'm also wearing some pants from them <laughs> that are very I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Did not expect them to stretch that high. Wow. Um, they're clearly very stretchy and comfortable. I'm blushing now. Um, anyway, I do share my daily outfits of the day over on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there and you're interested in what I'm wearing day to day, um, definitely give me a follow over there. It's one of my New Year's resolutions to get ready every day. And I feel like it's made a big impact on my mental health and productivity throughout the day. So I hope to keep that up. I'm also sharing my outfits to hold me accountable. Anyway, let's get into the actual video. So these are technically new to my wardrobe. Um, and then tonight I have girls night. So I'm actually going to kind of dress the same outfit up for dinner after work. Um, Cause I've had some requests to do that. So maybe that would be a good video. Let me know if that's something that you want to see. Um, but I plan to layer over this white vest. I just picked this up and shared it in a recent Abercrombie haul. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it here if you want to check it out. Um, but I think this will be really pretty to layer over it. And then I will probably wear a white booty with it just because I'm not, I haven't been wearing heels and it's freezing out. I picked up a good bit from Abercrombie recently, but just another piece that I'm really excited to continue wearing are these faux leather pants. I styled these a bunch of ways in that video, and I actually was shocked that they worked because I haven't had the best luck with Abercrombie pants in the past. I did just recently order a couple of their jeans that I'm gonna do a TikTok about kind of reviewing, so we'll see how that goes. But these are fortunately, they have some good stretch to them and I love this color. So I've been looking for some faux leather pants for quite a while, so I'm really excited about those. I purchased a good bit from Lululemon recently. I was in desperate need of some new sports bras. Um, post baby, my chest size has definitely changed quite a bit and I needed all new sports bras. So I found this one on sale. It has this zipper down the middle, so it is nursing friendly if you need a nursing friendly sports bra. And then the back has some really great supportive coverage. So this is kind of like, I guess it's camo, which isn't really my thing, but it was on sale and I basically got two for the price of one. So I just went for this color. Um, at first it was difficult to get on because it does zip but I realized it comes with a, I don't know if you can see this, but it comes with a bra clasp right there that you have to fasten before you zip it up. But it's very comfortable and supportive if you need a good sports bra. And then I also picked up this one just because I thought it was pretty. This one's more medium support, but I really liked the color combination of it. And I picked up a size eight. I'm a 36C at the moment. And then also from Lululemon, this top, which I actually have this in another color. I picked it up while I was pregnant 
and it's just a really great basic. I love kind of the boat neck style. So I picked it up in pink earlier last year. Wow, time flies. So I wanted to get white just because I really like white basics. And this is something that I would even wear with jeans. Um, it's very lightweight and comfortable. And then also from Lululemon, I picked up these joggers. I want to do a video styling kind of loungewear for out of the house in a way, or, you know, I think it's great for traveling and that type of thing. So I kind of want to do a video on this. I picked up the matching top that hasn't come in yet. Haven't even tried these on, honestly, but I picked up a size six, which is my normal size. And then the last thing from Lululemon I wanted to share is this belt bag. I was torn, I almost got the pink, but I'm kind of opening up to a little more black in my wardrobe and I thought this would be more versatile to wear. So this is kind of like, an everyday bag. I honestly plan to wear it more kind of crossbody than I do like a fanny pack, but I kind of love that belt bags are like the new word for fanny pack. I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? I don't know. I wish I got the Sherpa one when it was in stock, but those sold out so quickly. But I think overall, this is going to be more versatile year round and it's just a bag to throw on like when I'm going on walk or something and I want to have my phone on me. I figured that's what we could use this for. It comes in a ton of colors and I think it was like $38. If you are curious what I'm doing for my workouts, I have a blog post that I'll link down below sharing kind of my postpartum fitness journey. If you are wanting to hear more about that, um, let's see. Oh, this actually has to go back. I bought this from Walmart, but it sadly has that mark there. Um, I think it just got like caught in something because it kind of has holes in it in that area. But this is so pretty. I need to reorder it. Um, I thought this was great because it is nursing friendly and I get asked to share like more nursing friendly things, especially for work. So I thought this was a great piece for that. It has a peplum at the bottom and it's just very girly and feminine and it feels like great quality. It's unfortunate that mine came messed up because I was wanting to do a Walmart haul this month, but I don't know. I don't think I'll have one out this month, but we'll see. And then also from Walmart, I wore this the other day, so it's inside out, but um, this sweater is like, it's really pretty bubblegum pink, comes in a bunch of colors. There's some neutrals. It's very soft and fuzzy, and it is long enough for leggings. I got a medium in this, if I have any footage of me wearing these, I will of course put them in, but yeah. And then also from Walmart, I haven't worn this yet, but I thought this was so cool. It's a heated vest, and as someone who is always cold, this was such a practical purchase. So it comes with like a battery pack, and it heats up. And I thought this would be great for walks, and if you live somewhere cold, very practical. I think they also have a heated jacket as well, but I thought the vest would be great because you could layer this and then wear a coat over it. So really excited about that. I wanted it in white, but it was sold out. So I just got the black. And then a couple things from Nordstrom. I got this sweatshirt and it's so pretty. It has this eyelet detail cream, has a little ruffle, and it's just an elevated sweatshirt. So I had to get it. Um, these are things that I still wear like around the house, but I feel a little more put together when I do. So I think that might make it in that casual loungewear video. We'll see. I got a medium in that. It does run true to size. And then I also got, let's see. I feel like this is very old school YouTube that I used to watch as far as like hauls. Um, this pink sequin skirt. I shared this in a TikTok doing like holiday styles. And then I think this is actually really versatile. It would be really pretty for Valentine's Day even. It does have a slit at the front. It was on sale when I purchased it. I'm not sure if it's still on sale and if it's still in stock, but it's a really pretty pink sequin skirt. And then to go with it, I haven't worn this yet outside of that video, but it is a wrap sweater in this really pretty pink color. Again, a really great nursing friendly option. I actually have a little tip for y'all if you 
are wearing a wrap sweater, if you want to keep it in place, tuck the bottom layer into your pants or whatever you're wearing with it. That has definitely helped keep it more secure. Um, I shared that little hack on my TikTok if you want to see it in action. And then I also got this sweater. This is a wool sweater, so it, I wouldn't say it's itchy, but it's not as soft as like this sweater. I don't know. I need to try it on, but it is beautiful. It has this ruffle detail on the neckline and then like the dotted material on the sleeve. And this also comes in red, so it would be a really great Valentine option as well. I picked up a medium in this. Um, this is like quickly becoming one of my new favorite, favorite brands. It's um, a little more expensive. Like I think that sweater was 99, but it's elevated and it's actually sustainable too. So really excited to share more from Anna, the stories here in the future. And then also got these black joggers. I styled these in that same TikTok with the sequin skirt as like a travel outfit. And in that video, I was wearing a small, but I wanted to switch it out for a medium just to have a little extra room in the booty. So I haven't tried these on yet, but I think these will be a better fit. And these are currently, like Zella is currently on sale, 20% off. I think that ends on the 17th. So if you need any workout basics, now would be a great time to get those at Nordstrom. And then this, it's kind of a funny story. So I actually have wanted this for the last two years. It's normally included in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and it's sold out before I can get it or it's one of those things that I didn't pull the trigger on and then kind of regretted. Well, I actually got it this past year in the Nordstrom sale, but the one I got ended up being damaged in a way. It was like wet and like the inside was kind of messed up and it smelled weird. So we sent that right on back. I didn't even share it actually, but it had been sold out and it was full price, but I saw that they randomly had my size. So I finally got it. Um, this is a little weird on the hanger, but you can style this three different ways. You can fasten it where it draped open, maybe just two ways. I think you can do stuff with the collar. I'm not sure, but it's like a sweatshirt jacket. So glad to finally check that off my shopping list. And then I have been sharing these a ton recently and this is definitely not going to be the end of them. I'm going to be styling these so much, especially in my upcoming work video. Um, these pearl slides, they were featured in my last Abercrombie haul. These are actually what I'm wearing today since they're brand new. Um, we don't wear shoes around our house except for right here in this room with filming. Obviously I have to. Um, so these may be my new like work from home shoe. I'm going to be, I'm probably going to put off like wearing them outside of the house for when it's winter. So I don't really have to. Um, and I like having like a nice shoe to be able to wear. So with these, I would recommend sizing up a half size. Personally, I just like having extra room at the end of the shoe with slides because your foot can move around a little bit. So they do run true to size, but I like to have that extra half size and they are very comfortable. There's some nice padding on the heel. My legs are starting to tingle because I cannot sit with my legs crossed anymore. <laughs> You'd think I would learn my lesson by now being 33. I also got these jeans recently from Revolve. I have been struggling to find a pair of light wash straight leg jeans. Um, I'm convinced now that they are just jeans that you don't sit in because they are not comfortable, but they look so good when you're standing, you know? So this pair has definitely been the best as far as like how they look on, but they are the least comfortable that I've tried. And I'm actually doing a series on my TikTok where I'm just trying different jeans that y'all are recommending. So the most recent one that I ordered is Abercrombie. So stay tuned if you've been looking for this style of jean. I'm actually going to do a ultimate review like I did last year on my channel with the white sneaker. Um, I'm going to be compiling them into a future YouTube video. So I'm not sure when that will go out just because I'm going to do it a little more spaced out than the white sneaker review, but stay tuned for that. These do fit very true to size. I would even say if you're in between, I would size up just for your organs sake. All right. I know I hinted that a pedal and pup haul is coming next week, but I just wanted to share a couple things. Um, they just have such pretty stuff. So this top. I'm actually a little nervous about it because we see how short this is. 
very short, but I've just seen some people wearing this and it looks so beautiful with the sleeve detail. So I'm hoping that I can make it work with obviously high rised things, but we'll see. This was definitely a little bit out there for me because I normally do not do things this short, but it was just so pretty. I wanted to try it. It may, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I'll, we'll see how this turns out on next Thursday. So stay tuned for that. And then I also wanted to share these pants. They are so beautiful. They're like a pink metallic and they're very similar to the pant that I'm wearing today. And they're a really great, comfortable work from home pant option if you um, need something like that. So they're a really pretty pleat, very comfortable. Um, so stay tuned for more from Petal and Pup next week. All right, here is a better look at the pants that I'm wearing today. Um, since I wanted to stand up and get this dress off my clothing rack. Um, so this dress, this was sent to me from the Rachel Parcel team, but I wanted to include it in case you're looking for a gorgeous Valentine's dress. This is so beautiful. I thought I was going to wear it for my birthday. Um, which was on the 4th, but we actually didn't do anything because both of our parents ended up sick with you know what, so we didn't have a babysitter, so we're kind of postponing those plans. So maybe I will wear it next week if we end up doing something for my birthday, kind of delayed. Um, but I think this would be really pretty for Valentine's Day, holidays. It fits so beautifully. It does run true to size. If you're in between, I would even say you could probably go si down a size because I wear a small and it fits beautifully and I'm kind of in between a small medium right now I'm probably more of a medium so coming up this week I will have an express try on haul on Sunday so lots of great workwear pieces I'm still waiting for a order for an upcoming workwear video I'm really excited about that it's going to be a very kind of girly and classic workwear video so I've only received one thing for that so far so that will be coming up at the end of January, and then that Petal and Pup try on haul is coming next week as well. Um, and then I'm also going to bring back monthly favorites videos here on my channel as well. I do them very sporadically, but we're sticking to a plan in 2022. We're going to get it done. So have it on my calendar to start doing those again. Um, so look for that at the end of the month. But I hope you all enjoyed this what's new to my wardrobe. Let me know what your favorites were and um, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!